Hello beautiful people and uh, welcome back to this very interesting episode in which we're going to talk about everything regarding this Kung Fu Panda collaboration event. So I highly suggest you guys to pay attention and watch this video till the end, not just because I'm going to explain you pretty much everything in this event in the best way possible, but the most important part are the rewards and I'm going to go a bit more deeper into that and also explain you why I'm recommending you exactly in this specific priority. So let's start at the top right here and here you see some collectibles right here and they supposed to give you some tips which yeah it's kind of difficult to understand but anyways you see me I have collected four out of eight and now I'm going to put on the screen a list which shows you exactly what you have to do in order to obtain all eight of them. So what I suggest you is pause the video right now and take a screenshot to see it later on. Good. So the second thing on this map is actually this dual arena right here. Now you know this from red versus blue event, but it's a bit more complicated. So let's go through this. So first of all, I have selected the blue team by clicking on the little guy, but you also see me. If I would like to switch the team, I can do that in 35 hours from now. So what are you literally doing here? You are simply consuming VIT. And that's exactly what happens here. And let's cash in on this bamboo stuff. And what you can do with this is actually to support them. So you click on this button support. And here there are some skills. Here is also the energy. But here you really have to pay attention at this number. So don't waste your items. Because it shows you right here that the energy level it's almost at the maximum so please pay attention do not overcharge this because this is not super effective so in other words what you can do of course you can go on the skills right here and you can literally use those stuff here and of course you're gonna get some rewards these boxes right here also gives you some rewards which are yeah always kind of good so this is simply by you using your vid. Of course, we have the rewards list and somewhere here, there are also two packs. I don't quite remember exactly where both were. One was for 249 and the other one was for 499. Absolutely worth it when it comes down to this event. So the other thing what we mentioned at the beginning in the temple is actually to sound the drums. So here are the drums. Here you go. And you also have this stuff right here. So make sure you click on the screen in order to unlock this achievement. So good. Let's ignore the little guy which is running around. We're going to come back to him also. So let's go one stage down. And here we have the martial art skill tree. We're going to go there into a second. And of course, we have here the training versus this tiger right here. As of right now, we have this guy right here. But later on, we're going to get two new ones. And in order to hit him, you need actually this 10 chi energy. And you get some good rewards. And... Where is this chi actually coming from? So first of all, you are regenerating one chi every 10 minutes and you need 10 in order to hit. Let me collect here the rewards. And here was, I think, also that pack. Yeah, and it's actually this right here, unlocking extra rewards. And now let's go on the skill tree right here for the martial arts. And in order to get this martial arts tickets, you have to literally do your dailies or kill warhammers or kill the te terrors or actually even do your radar. You're going to get those martial art tokens. And that is one of the requests for those hidden achievements. You actually have to complete this. But I kept one specifically for you guys. So in this tab right here, you get another 200 chi. If you do this one, you get another 300 chi. And I left this one specifically for you guys. So if I do this right now, bam, I'm going to get 400 chis. So collect the rewards, of course, as always. And let's go back to the tiger to see if we actually have more. And here we go. Now we have 429 chi. So please do that. Please do the training. And of course, let's again have a look at the tab right here with the martial arts so you have specific uh, skills right here and the goal is of course to complete each one of them bring them to level five you also have one here for the duel good and the rewards are here that's kind of pretty clear good now let's move a bit more downstairs now you see this little guy running around this is going to give you some quests every now and then and there's a second item on this screen right here which you have to click in order to activate 
and you're gonna need that for these achievements and this is exactly this lamp right here. So I'm zooming in right now and at the same time I'm pressing on this and this is how you turn on this lantern right here. Good, now let's go here to this guy because this sends us directly into Pink's shop and let's go slowly through all this stuff. So of course here is where the second pack was and it's definitely absolutely worth it. This event is three weeks and you're gonna get a lot of rewards and it's absolutely super worth it. Good, let's go step by step and actually start with this My Junk game right here. So let's play this My Junk game right here. Now I have watched a few tutorials. I kind of understood the rules, still doesn't change the fact you're gonna have some severe issues with the signs on this cards right here what you have so let me show you a workaround for that so you have to draw a card but at this point the system actually helps you you see this little sign right here telling you you have to drop a card and that should be the card which you drop and automatically you saw that the system already arranged the card exactly in the position which it has to be so let's carry on you also get of course some extra rewards with every pool and here we see again the system telling me drop exactly that card over there and already arrange it for us so let's carry on and see what else happens so let's do the full game so again i draw this card the system tells me you don't need that so let's drop it okay let's carry on let's wait for the other uh, pve players right here and here we see again the next card, the system tells me drop it, you don't need it in your combinations. Let's carry on and draw now again. And oh, I even got a token for this event, that's super nice. And let's drop the card and let's carry on. And now again, it's our turn. We drew another card, the system tells me drop it because you don't need it, let's carry on. Again, we draw another card, we don't need it. I mean, the whole board here is kind of blinking, telling me it's maybe kind of, good for me but we also see on the left side that that uh, fox over there it's about to win so let's hope that doesn't happen also these signs will gonna appear on the screen so you have to click on them because yeah they mean something for the game and here we go yeah we won actually this my john even without knowing exactly what we are doing because this is super important right here to mention that the game helps you like you see again here i draw this card right there and the system tells me you know what drop exactly that one and this is exactly the way to play this event without wasting hours watching tutorials about Mahjong because the system helps you. So good that was the Mahjong game for those of you out there which are far more experienced than me when it comes down to this game because I literally have no experience regarding Mahjong. Please let me know in the comments if the way river game implemented this if that's actually helping if that is an efficient tactic but guys the alternative is actually to learn exactly how to play this and i think it's absolutely yeah very difficult and it's going to take you a certain amount of time good let's go now into the rewards here because this, this is absolutely super important and you really have to pay attention so first of all let me exclude some stuff from this list please pay attention the base skin of this event do not take it check if you have the arc skin or the shatter dome first more on this in a minute another item which you should not take 100 percent the orange equip supply chest we already have this in the eternal land this comes every six months and on top of this you also need 70 gold materials so it's absolutely fine to take this box from the eternal land and not take it from this event and also not paying $100 in order to get that. So I'm gonna exclude this. Good. What remains, of course, is the list with the base skins right here. Absolutely great. We always make a video on these boxes and these boxes are literally always the same. You find the videos on the channel or if you're regularly watching my videos, I always analyze these boxes. But you will have to prioritize something else here. And this is super important. This is by far the strongest decoration we have right now from this Kung Fu Panda. And you really have to pay attention. Once this event ends, you no longer have the chance to obtain this. So you know what? I have some tokens. Let's take this because I want to show you why. So let's first go into my base. Let's go to somewhere where we have some room. And let's go and find the item. Here it is. So I have to activate it and it's going to go now into the decor tab right here and we find it and let's put it down. 
So why is this important? Because up now, I literally have the opportunity to upgrade this with universal decoration charts whenever I want. So please do not miss on this opportunity. The decorations are the highest priority in here. Regarding the base skin, yeah. So we discussed this skin in the last episode briefly because from the PvP or PvE perspective, this skin is average at best. You don't need it except, of course, if you do not have the Ark or if you do not have the Shutter Dome. So if you do not have these two skins, this, yes, is a good skin because of this extra buff. Because this aura right here gives you this uh, high attack buff, which is 40% for you and another 20% on top. And this is absolutely great. But if you have the Ark or the Shatter Dome, do not take this skin. It's absolutely a bad idea. Also because it costs you 999 classic scrolls or the tokens of this event. Good. So what else do we have here? Of course, we have the March queries. And, and if you want to take something from here, always click on this queries, which have this mark on the upper right corner. And always have a look at Bond and see what you are needing in order to complete, in order to be the most efficient way possible. Of course, there's going to be players out there which simply take this because they like it. That's another story. Good. We also have these base effects and are pretty nice. Now we can go briefly through them and see which one we which ones we have right here. Generally, you take this for the passive. Generally, also one of these effects costs you around about $50. So yeah, that's not quite a bad idea, to be honest. Let's carry on. You also should ignore this, except you are super, super close to bring that skill to level six or to level seven. Then maybe, yes, it's worth it. This is, of course, not necessarily worth it, except again, you're super close. This is something which is always super worth it. Of course, this just gives you universal hero skill charts and it's super nice. This is, yeah, useless because you should definitely do your crafting every day and you'll be absolutely super fine. This is another item which is super nice, which is the decoration universal charts which you need in order to upgrade decoration absolutely great we also have some power cores here which are also a very interesting pick especially because we we don't have that many opportunities to earn this stuff like for example the class items you can get that from pretty much anywhere you can get also this from pretty much anywhere these heavy trooper chips you also get it from the bakery mastery and so on so yeah we have also the formations cubes right here, but you get 12 of them dailies. So yeah, I wouldn't focus that much on it. But of course, here we see the resonators, which are great. And we also see the holograms. So this is also a great pick. So pretty much up now, everything else is just random stuff. It's not even worth to go through this. You also have an emote, but I simply don't care about that. Good. Let's carry on because we have another event. Here you have Mr. Poe. You also see that I had to buy certain packs in order to get the Poe to level 5 plus some um, Hero Universal charts. Okay, good. Now let's jump to this arrow toss right here. And we have to explain it. So in order to do that, let me show you first a screenshot from our dear community helper, which is Mamie. And I'm also going to try not to forget to put the Discord link of Miami in the video descriptions, guys. She has a ton of information on the Discord. It's always worth it to go check it out. So here we go. First of all, what we have to pay attention here, you have the wind direction. You can change that. I'm going to do that uh, ASAP in game. But let's first have a look at the numbers here. So the probability of hitting the center of the pot is 17.2%. So the probability actually to hit here exactly in the middle. Okay. So the probability of hitting the ear of the pot, it's 14.1. Then the ears, of course, you see them left and right. So if you are hitting the center of one of these pots, which represent actually the decorations, you can get a decoration level one, but you also have a small chance to actually get a decoration level two or even level three. And I saw actually somebody last night linking a screenshot of him obtaining the level three decoration. So congratulations on that. So when you are hitting these ears from these decorations, those stay here. 
And if you succeed to fill all these years here on the screen, you will get a set of all six decorations. And of course, you have here this bus button to adjust the strength. But yeah, you can pretty much imagine this is a little bit RNG. So you know what? Let's jump back into the game and uh, play it a little bit. But before we do that again, pause the video right here and take a screenshot. All my videos are 1080p, very high resolution. So yeah, it's definitely worth it to take a screenshot. Good, so let's jump back into the game. So we have the wind direction here, which you can change by using gems. And I think the maximum value is 50 gems. And now you see the wind direction going uh, from southwest, going towards the northeast. So let's try to hit, we'll see what we get right here. So every time you miss, you're also gonna get these tokens and we're gonna go also into that. So theoretically speaking, the direction is kind of good because I'm trying to aim uh, here. And let's see if we can succeed to do that. So that was a miss. Let's try again. Oh, oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. Which one is this one? Yes, it's the damage increase. Absolutely great, good. Let's carry on and try to fill all these years if that is possible. But maybe we also are lucky enough to get a level two or a level three. So I have another 25 of this arrows oh we got another one that's super nice so that's the attack increase i'm gonna put it later on down in my base and of course you can imagine that this is a certain rng built in even though it kind of looks like that you're aiming towards something good let's do some more pulls right here and then let's go into the decoration for this event and then let's wrap up everything good so here is the decoration store and it's absolutely fantastic. Of course, you have this huge box right here. This decoration all have March size and you get it directed to level two, which is absolutely great. But then here we have the decorations of this event. So of course, what you should definitely focus on is the damage increase and damage decrease first. But yeah, you also gonna get some of these statues along the way by playing this event. So yeah, we have the fat panda bear here with the damage increase, absolutely super nice. You just saw me getting this tiger right here. I also have this one, which is um, the damage decrease. And you also saw me, I got another one here, all units damage increase, absolutely nice. Those two right here, I strongly advise you not to touch them. It's absolutely not worth it. Good, so that is kind of pretty much it. Here we have the fat bear right here. And you should definitely take the opportunity and unlock this hero. You only need 10 uh, charts for that. And of course, here you see the rewards, what you are getting once you level up Mr. Po to level 100. Good. So beautiful people, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to support this channel. It's absolutely super important, guys, for me to carry on doing this work. Last night, I remained awake till around 5 a.m. I still have a ton of DNs to, um, to answer. So guys, please bear with me and woke up three hours later and i'm doing right now the video for this event because it's super important for you guys so yes i think it's absolutely worth it to support this channel by subscribing to it and i have another request for you guys if it's not much to ask a lot of you out there already have a high understanding of how this works either from my videos or either because you figure it out yourself. So be so kind and at least on the YouTube channel, jump in on the comments because there are still a lot of viewers out there seeking desperately some answers to questions which are absolutely super simple to you because you already understood that. So please give me a hand with that. And as always, beautiful people, don't forget to see me in the next episode in which we're going to talk a little bit more about this panda bear from the PVE as aspect also the way he hits and also show you some runes on him specifically in the battle animation. So beautiful people, thank you for watching and don't forget to see me in the next episode. Ciao.